Last April, when I decided to defer college for a year, my friends thought I was insane. But I'm not. I just have no idea what I want to do with my life. <laughs> I mean, what a waste of time and money when you just don't know. And what if it turns out to be something you don't even need a college degree for? Like jewelry design, or horseback riding, or sex. When I told my English teacher, Miss Rath, that I was deferring, she said that I should keep a journal or start a blog so that one day in a year from now I could look back and learn from it. I told her it was a wonderful idea. I was lying so I could get away from her yellow teeth and vegan breath. Well, that's what I thought at the time. And most blogs are just some boring chick telling you everything you never wanted to know about her stupid life. I mean, every single day writing more boring crap until one day you just want to write to her and say, yo bitch, tell me something interesting. But my blog will be the exact opposite. I only write when I have something fascinating to report, which isn't now. Right now it's Halloween. watch a movie. We both know what that means, which is why I swore I would never go back. <laughs> Empathetic. Empathetic. Dan is absolutely brilliant. He's an expert in anti-Americanism in the movies of Jean-Luc Godard. Knowing Dan is like having my own personal film school. If I could just get through a single movie with my pants on. <laughs> it usually takes about 15 minutes. I always kiss first. If Dan made the first move, he would feel way too guilty. He's 32. I'm 17. <laughs> if I thought there was even one in a Google chance that anybody would recognize me from this blog, I would never be this honest. The reason I'll never be recognized is that I've changed every single name, including my own as well as a lot of meaningless details. I could be your granddaughter, your daughter, your sister, your girlfriend. Hell, I could be you.